Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So, last night, the JP side of the game got a new data download as well as an update to version 4.17.0. And while there wasn't a lot of new stuff, the stuff that we did get is definitely worth talking about. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. First things first, a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all the assets as always. And here's a quick breakdown of everything that was added. So there's app update 4.17.0, subscription service. Now for my global players out there, this might sound very familiar, and that's because it is almost exactly the same thing as the Pelops Trove daily capsule service that we have right now and we've had for uh, quite some time. I mean. I don't remember exactly when the daily capsule was implemented, but it must have been at least like six months plus, right? So yeah, it's very similar to this. We'll go over the details in a second, but there is now gonna be a subscription service on JP as well. And then there was the new chain battle boss added for this Super Saiyan Teen Trunks. And also, of course, the uh, joint global JP campaign reward the Legendary Super Saiyan Broly versus Super Saiyan Goku wallpaper, which both sides will be getting. So, taking a quick look at the assets here, we have this Trunks and his tank top, pretty dope. We have this wallpaper, which is really damn clean. We got Broly and Goku fighting in the middle, and then uh, the baby versions of Goku and Broly in the background. And uh, here are some assets for this new subscription service, obviously mostly in Japanese, but it's uh, very, very similar. Like, it looks really close to, uh, you know, what we have on Global. Like, with this box here, we got the little banner with the little ribbon thing, the uh, gift boxes, all that stuff. And obviously, Dragon Stones, because that's the most important part. And uh, here's another list of the assets. You got Sale, Bonus, Special, Get, you know, all that good stuff, right? So... Uh, yeah, the big thing to come out from this data download and this update, it's definitely the subscription service. And uh, now let's pop over to uh, DadaGo4's Twitter page where he posted the in-game notice. And as you guys can see, it says here 15 days. So I'm assuming that means 15 day subscription. And oh, it also says 15 days here. Yeah, so 15 days in total and you get 50 Dragon Stones for this subscription, for the length of the subscription, right? And then popping down to the other page here, it says here, it's 980 yen, which roughly converts to about nine US dollars, according to Google, and it's five stones for the initial bonus. So when you buy it, you get five stones, and then you get three stones per day for 15 days. So in total, that adds up to 50 stones. Over 15 days, if you wanna double that for a month, it's gonna be, 100 stones for uh, 30 days, right? Now, if you want to compare that to what we have on Global right now, we actually have two options on Global. The first one is 15 days for only 31 stones. As you can see, it's one stone bonus upon purchase and then two stones per day every single day for 15 days. But the much better option is this one right here for 30 days, which gives you five stones upon purchase and then three stones per day for 30 days for a total of 95 stones. And this pack costs, I believe, 10 US dollars for global players. For me in Canada, I think it's 14, but the conversion is kind of weird, so we usually pay a little bit more in Canada. But uh, yeah, if you wanna, if you wanna see like which one's the better deal, I mean, according to my calculations, unless I'm like really off for some reason, which is possible, you know, I've made mistakes before. Uh, the global one seems much better because it's 95 stones, right, for 30 days for $10 compared to um, 100 stones for 30 days, right? So five more stones, but it's going to be $9 times two because you have to buy this pack twice for 30 days, right? So it's going to be 18 US dollars, right, or uh, around 2,000 yen, you know, 1960 yen and you're paying much more for five more stones. So on a per stone basis, right, the you know global Pilaf's Trove Pack seems to be the much better deal. Now, if my math is wrong somehow, I mean, it's pretty simple, but if I somehow got it wrong, feel free to let me know in the comments down below, right? But 
Um, it does seem like, you know, if we want to do a direct comparison between the Daily Capsule and this new subscription service, I'm not really sure if it's going to be called Daily Capsule as well on JP or some other name. Regardless, um, yeah, it seems to be the better deal on Global. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad deal on JP by any means. And for my, you know, pay-to-play players out there, I still think it's a great option. I still think they should buy it because it's much cheaper than buying stones straight up, right? It's just over the course of 15 days per pack. And uh, I'm assuming that if you are going to be buying this, you'll be buying it every single time it runs up, right? But uh, yeah, no, the price on, on Global definitely is cheaper. It's, you know, $10 for 95 stones over the course of 30 days versus uh, $18 for 100 stones um, over the course of 30 days or, you know, $9 for 50 stones over the course of 15 days. Um, hopefully in the future, they'll add more options. Maybe if there's like a 30 day pack, it's gonna be a better value. But right now, all I see is this 15 um, day pack and I don't think they have a 30 day option yet, but I'm sure they're just testing it out. If the 15 day pack does well, then maybe they'll add like a 30 day pack or something like that. But for now, like I said, based on my very basic calculations, the, the global pack is the better deal. But uh, I'm still happy for JP players because, you know, it's a good way to get like more stones every day without having to spend a lot of money, right? So there you go. Uh, subscription service, obviously Super Saiyan Trunks, um, you know, Chain Battle Boss, and then the wallpaper reward. Now, one thing I did want to quickly talk about before we you know got out of here is the potential for other global, um, I mean, I guess they're no longer global exclusive anymore, right? Like global first stuff now, uh, like the subscription service uh, to come to JP in the future, right? Because it seems like they're starting to do stuff like that. So what if, you know, for the next dual Dokkan Fest, JP starts getting these Dokkan Festival tickets, right? Dokkan Festival A, Dokkan Festival B. As you guys know on Global, whenever we get a dual Dokkan Fest, unless it's a joint celebration between Global and JP, Global players have always received um, special tickets, right? That we can use on ticket banners and basically do more free summons. And JP has never had this, although they did have something like it for the sixth anniversary in those rainbow tickets. Um, but it's not exactly the same because those rainbow tickets were obtained through missions and logins and stuff like that. Whereas these tickets, these Dokkan Festival tickets, are obtained through summons. So um, at this point in time, JP has never had anything quite like this, although the rainbow tickets were similar. So what if, man, for the next dual Dokkan Fest, uh, they start you know, giving JP players tickets too for their summons? I think that'd be great. I know some... I know there's going to be a few global mains out there that are going to be a little bit salty, but as I've always said, man, I've never wished like ill on any JP players, you know, like I am a JP player too. I have a JP account. I just mainly play global, but, um, you know, I want JP players to have like all the stuff that uh, Dokkan players can enjoy too, right? Like this Dokkan festival ticket thing is huge. This is a very, very significant feature that... Global has had to themselves, you know, for, for a long time now. And uh, if they wanted to start giving JP players this too, I think it's a great move. So we'll have to see. Obviously, I don't know anything. You know, I have no inside information. So this could just be a pipe dream still. But I didn't really think that they were going to implement like a subscription service either. Like I thought it was something that they were only going to do for the global side. So uh, this is pretty cool. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. Are you um, happy? That uh, if you're on JP, you can you know buy the subscription service now too, or the subscription packs, even though they are a little bit more expensive. Okay, unless unless I'm misunderstanding something here, because it does say 980 yen. If you Google it, it converts to about nine US dollars for 15 days, 50 stones in total, so 18 dollars over the course of 30 days, right? For 100 stones, five more stones, but you're paying eight dollars more. So definitely not as good of a pack, at least based on my initial, uh, you know, just based on my understanding right now. So, uh, yeah, give me your thoughts in the comments. That's pretty much all there is to say. Hopefully, Dokkan Festival tickets are on the horizon as well, but I wouldn't necessarily hold my breath for it because this is still a very big, um, it's, a, it's, just, it's just a big thing, you know? So, like, we'll see what they do with it. But, uh, you know, fingers crossed, man, for, for JP players too. So, 
uh that's it guys that's all i gotta say thank you so much for watching big shout out to proton 10mg on twitter again for posting everything make sure to follow him if you guys haven't yet and that's all i gotta say thank you so much for watching as always if you like today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out